to pay attention, there will be a test afterwards. Uh, many years ago, uh, in 1989, when big changes were happening in Eastern Europe, I was very fortunate to move to Eastern Europe and live there for the next decade. And one of the people that I, uh, that I respect uh, is Vaslav Havel. I'm sure you've all heard of him. Uh, and when I found out this event tonight was about uh, prison and the right to speak out, I thought it would be a good idea to read from the original manifesto that came out that earned those people that wrote it many, many, many years in prison called Charter 77. <clears throat> I thought it would be a very good night to read uh, the, the original five-page document that Mr. Howell wrote along with others, and just to read parts of it, and also a brief introduction to what Charter 77 was and is. So as you know, the, during the 19, well, from the 1940s until 1989, uh, the former Czechoslovakia was under a regime that was not that much into promoting free speech. Uh, Charter 77 was founded by several people, but uh, Mr. Hollow was one of the chief writers of it. Here's a brief introduction, and then the rest of it I'll be assisted by these nice people. Uh, so, Charter 77, motivated in part by the arrest of members of the psychedelic band Plastic People of the Universe, the text of Charter 77 was prepared in 1976. In December 1976, the first signatures were collected. The charter was published on the 6th of January 1977, along with the names of the first 242 signatories, which represented various occupations, political viewpoints, and religions. Although Václav Havel, Ludwig Václav, and Pavel Lambowski were detained while trying to bring the charter to the Federal Assembly, and the Czechoslovak government and the original document was confiscated. Copies circulated as Samizdat and on 7 January were published in several Western newspapers, including Le Monde, Frankfurt Aleman Zeitung, The Times of New York, and transmitted to Czechoslovakia by Czechoslovak band radio broadcasters like Radio Free Europe and Voice of America. So what is Charter 77? Here it is. Charter 77 criticized the government for failing to implement human rights provisions of a number of documents it had signed, Imagine that. including the 1960 Constitution of Czechoslovakia, the final act of the 1975 Conference on Security and Cooperation in Europe, and the United Nations Covenants on Political, Civil, Economic, and Cultural Rights. The documents also describe the signatories as loose, informal, and open association of people, united by the will to strive individually and collectively for respect for human and civil rights in our country and throughout the world. It emphasized the Charter, that Charter 77 is not an organization, has no statutes or permanent organs, and does not form the basis for any oppositional political activity. This final stipulation was a careful effort to stay within the bounds of the Czechoslovakian law, which made organized opposition illegal. So what we have here, <clears throat> I actually downloaded this tonight, is the original five-page document from the secret police files of Czechoslovakia. And it was, of course, originally written in Czech, but this is an excellent translation done by Paul Wilson, the great Czech-English translator from Canada. Who's next? So, this was just given to me, um, so I'm just going to read through this. Uh, hello. And uh, it's called the Declaration of Charter 77. And I'll just read one section of it. The freedoms and rights of the people guaranteed by these pacts are important factors of civilization for which, throughout history, many progressive 
forms or forces have been striving and their enactment can be of great assistance to the humanistic development of our society. We therefore welcome the fact that the Czechoslovakian Socialist Republic has expressed adherence to these acts. But their publication reminds us with new urgency how many fundamental civil rights for the time being are unhappily valid in our century only on paper. Completely illusionary, for example, is the right of to freedom of expression guaranteed by Article 19 of the First Pact. Tens of thousands of citizens are not allowed to work in their own branches simply because they held opinions which differ from official opinions. At the, t at the same time, they are frequently the object of the most varied forms of discrimination and persecution on the part of the authorities and social organizations. They are deprived of any possibility of defending themselves and are virtually becoming the victims of apartheid. Hundreds of thousands of other citizens are denied the right to freedom from fear. Preamble of the first fact. Because they are forced to live in constant danger that if they express their opinions they will lose their possibility to work and other possibilities. In contradiction to Article 13 of the Second Pact, guaranteeing to all right of his, to education, there are countless young people we are prevented from who are prevented from studying because of their opinions or even those of their parents. There are citizens without number who must live in the fear that if they express themselves according to their convictions, they themselves or their children would be deprived of the right to education. Thank you. And now uh, my friend Irene will read, read from the last page of this document. And as you can see from the reading, it is an attempt to compromise. They were not asking for a tremendous amount of, of, of things, basically. They were asking to work with the government. And it's a really nice last page of this document. Uh, I know it's a bit dry, but please listen to it and uh, hopefully enjoy. Chapter 77 arose from the background of the solidarity and friendship of people who share concern for the fate of the ideals to which they have linked their life and work. Chapter 77 is not an organization. It has no statutes, no permanent organs, and no organized membership. Everyone who agrees with the idea behind it, participates in its work, and supports it, is its member. Chapter 77 is not a base for opposition political activity. It wants to serve the general interest, like many similar examples of civic initiative in the various countries, West and East. It does not want to lay down its own programs of political or social reforms or changes, but to engage in the spheres of its activity in a constructive dialogue with political and state power especially by calling attention to various concrete instances of the violation of human and civil rights, to prepare documentation on them, propose solutions, submit various general proposals aimed at deepening these rights and guaranteeing them. By its symbolic name, Chapter 77 emphasizes that it is coming into being on the threshold of the year, which has been declared the year of rights of, pol of political prisoners, as signatories of this declaration, we have entrusted Professor Dr. Yuri Hayek, Václav Havel, and Professor Dr. John Patachka with the role of spokesman of, Char of Charter 77. We believe that Charter 77 will contribute towards all citizens in Czechoslovakia working and living as free people. 